Don't bother studying the great starling. You'll never be one of them. Hello, Isaac. Never thought you'd see me again, did you? I was certainly hoping not to. Then why don't you make this easy and give me back what you took? Can't do it. Sorry. Oh. With one whistle, I can send a hundred snarling dogs after you. You could. But you and I both know, even with all your magic, you don't have enough power to hurt me. I do hate it when you're right, darling. Though I do like this new shade of confidence. It's so... masculine. Are you sure you can't help a girl out? For all time's sake. Not a chance. Well then you will pay for what you did when you made me what I am. You know, idle threats don't make for good drama. But I do see one interesting story developing here. Really? And what's that? Rumpelstiltskin has no idea we know each other, which means that you lied to him. So from one old friend to another, you should probably be gone before he gets back. Oh, you always did know how to infuriate a girl, didn't you? Well, enjoy the upper hand while it's still on your wrist. Because I think you'll find there's more than one way to skin an author. <laughs>